Hi guys, welcome back to Queen's Yummy Paradise. Thank you for joining me today. So guys, I'm going to be showing you how to prep a whole meal, okay? So today's recipe is on chicken and mushroom sauce and a yummy flavorful rice, okay? So guys, I'm taking out my succulent chicken and I'm going to dice it. So I'm going to dice it like so, okay? Thank you all for joining me today. If this is your first time, I hope you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. Be a part of this family because I give you, I show you lots and lots of yummy easy recipes that you can recreate in a time, okay? And to my lovely subscribers, you know I love you, right? Okay guys, so this is how I wash my chicken. I love to go in and run in the water. I know you're gonna say I'm wasting water, but guys, we need our food properly cleaned, okay? So you can just reduce your tap and, you know, wash that chicken thoroughly, okay? I'm gonna be washing it as you're gonna see me do on the video. So after you're done, you're going to go ahead and take out the chicken one at a time and put that in a separate bowl and take out the water if there's any water remaining, okay? So here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, add in some lemon juice and I'm going to use one lemon juice. Yes, lemon juice helps in, you know, taking out any smell and any other um, dirt on your chicken, okay? I just love to do that because it makes me 100% sure that my chicken is so, so clean, okay? So guys, when you wash, when you finish washing this chicken with lemon, you're going to notice a very huge difference in your chicken. Can you see how it just looks? Yes, this is what you want your chicken looking like, soft pink, okay? So, and you see everything, the bone, everything, all the dirt is out. So take out the water and put that chicken in a pot so I'm gonna go ahead and blend um, the onion and the pepper and the garlic okay so this is what we have okay I use my food processor and chopped this like so okay so add in one to two tablespoons of curry powder and um, lime one tablespoon and also add it in the chicken stock pot it's so rich in flavor okay so I'm adding in just one like so guys you really need to ch season your protein so well okay and this is one and a half and um, beyond cubes okay and I'm adding in some salt some chicken seasoning just about one tablespoon okay and you're gonna go ahead and stir that so well and we're not going to be adding in any water into this pot Oh, because the chicken has water already so we're gonna allow this chicken to cook in its own juice for about 15 minutes okay yes 15 minutes so while we're at it we're gonna go ahead and prep our vegetables here I have my red bell pepper and green and yellow bell pepper okay so we're gonna dice this into smaller cubes Please let me know where you're watching my video from. If this is your first time, I hope you like what you see. Please do not forget to stick with us by clicking that notification bell so you always get notified for new recipes, okay? Alright, so I'm done with the bell peppers and I'm going ahead to dice my carrots as well. I'm using about three medium-sized carrots, okay? Okay guys, and we're gonna go ahead and also dice our spring onion, okay? Yes. And now let's go and check on our chicken. So this chicken I've been prepping for like um, 15 minutes. As you can see, it's really boiled and there's still water inside this chicken. So I'm gonna give that a stir. Guys, this place smells so delicious, I tell you. So yes, yeah, that's why you always want to um season your chicken so well okay so that when you bite into your chicken you to be so flavorful okay you will, you will know what hits you so guys, i'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little cup of water just as you can see me do okay to allow that boil again and i allowed it to boil again for another 12 minutes and our chicken is ready okay 
So we're gonna take that out and we're gonna fry this until it's golden brown. Okay guys, our chicken has been frying and you can see it's golden brown in color. I will go ahead and take this out of um, the oil, okay? Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that and share my videos, okay? So that everyone will see what we do here. <laughs> All right, guys, we've done that and this chicken looks so pretty. So we're gonna set that aside and it's time to make our sauce. So I'm going in with some of that oil from the chicken we just fried, okay? You don't have to throw that oil away, okay? So add in some roughly chopped onion, garlic, and um, pepper. We're going to allow that to fry for one minute because the oil is already so hot. So while that is frying, go ahead and give that a stir and into that you're going to add 1 tablespoon of curry powder, 1 tablespoon of thyme and give that a stir as well. And into this I'm going to be adding in my chopped tomatoes I'm using canned chopped tomatoes, okay? So give that a stir. And we're gonna cover this and allow it to cook for about seven minutes, okay? Okay guys, this is after seven minutes. And our tomatoes is well cooked. Guys, this place smells so good. So go ahead, add a tip and um, a can of coconut milk and I'm using this cream of chicken as well instead of using your regular double cream okay because this cream of chicken has lots and lots of taste and flavor so I love to use that most of the time and it's gonna help to thicken your soup as well your sauce as well okay so give that a stir And we're gonna allow this to boil a little bit, as you can see. Okay, so right now I'm gonna add in some mushrooms, okay? I'm using about 450 grams of mushrooms here. Okay, so into this, I'm adding in two spoons of um, our chicken sauce. And guys, we do not need any other seasonings for this sauce, okay? Yes, because that chicken stock is packed with a whole lot of flavor, I tell you. So you don't need to even add salt at all. It's just so good. So I just added in a little bit of garlic powder, about half tablespoon of that. So we're going to allow this to boil for 15 minutes and guys this is what we have. You can see it's so hot, the steam is everywhere. Okay, so our sauce is almost there. So bring back that chicken into the sauce. Add in some carrots. And then we're going to add in the bell peppers. Okay guys, we're going to cover this to cook for an extra 3 to 4 minutes. And this is after 3 to 4 minutes, okay? And we're going to go ahead and add in our last ingredient for today. Sauce and this is spring onion, okay? <laughs> so go ahead and give this a stir. I wish I could just, you know, throw this to you guys because this was really good, okay? So we're going to allow it to cover for 1 minute again and that's the end so guys i'm gonna show you how i make my flavorful rice so that's the chicken stock i had okay so i just went in with my washed rice emphasis on washed rice guys okay you always want to wash your rice and you can see i did not add any other water into the rice so the rice has dried now the stock has you know 
entered very well into that rice this rice was so so good so you want to give that a stir and you're going to add in water bit by bit to this rice until it's cooked so i'm adding in just about half cup or to one cup of water here so we're going to cover it again and allow it to cook And so guys, the rice is not still cool, so I'm just giving that a stir and I'm going to add in the final water for it to cook, okay? Yes, and after some minutes, the rice is finally cooked, okay? And I allowed it to burn a little because guys, you know how burnt rice tastes, it's so, so good, okay? Not really burnt, but you know, crispy and it's so yummy, guys. So this is what you have. I'm telling you, I could eat this rice without the sauce, but guys, that sauce was so good, okay? Yeah, so this is how you make your, you know, flavorful rice and you always love it. So guys, let's go ahead and dish out that food because we, could, we just couldn't wait for it okay so i'm gonna save this So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this just like I enjoyed making this recipe. So thank you all for watching my videos and make sure you make this next Sunday in your houses and let me know what you think about this recipe. So guys, thank you and I say bye from now until I come your way next time. God bless you so much and have a beautiful day. Bye.